Okay, hello everybody, this is Kyle here, and I am in the process of undergoing an extreme late night adventure, installing Mac OS 10.5 Leopard onto my computer. Now, this is not a different computer, this is my PC, taken all apart as you can see. Uh, but I am installing it. As you can see, this is successfully run. As you can see, this is installing, so I'll uh, bring more information as we go. So, yeah. Okay, well, here it is, and the installer has nearly finished. Uh, not quite done yet, but getting there. So, I'll give you a little status update. Uh, it is still going, which is really very cool. About 4.35 in the morning. It's a good thing I don't have to work till 1 p.m. Alright, well, hello everybody. Um, just pretty much doing my uh, next bit here on uh, installing Macintosh OS 10.5 Leopard onto my PC. Uh, it's turning out to be a little bit of a project, but you know, that's alright. Uh, I also haven't had much time to work on it the past couple days. But this essentially is it booting up right now. I kind of figured out a problem of something I did because this is, uh, like I said, a little bit of a task, but it's alright. Uh, it's fun at the same time. But this also is a new addition here. I did just add this second 19 inch monitor, which is so very nice for dual screening and all this fun stuff on my laptop. This right now is my Windows boot, obviously. But I found one of my friends gave me this marvelous program. So I really kind of like that as my background, but uh, like I said here, uh, we, not we, me, it's a little late as usual. It did install uh, successfully, it's just I installed it on the wrong partition. And I now know where to install it to make a boot and everything like that and run. So I'll find out what else I have to do to it because conceivably sound and internet and everything like that is supposed to work with minimal uh, minimal work done to it. But we'll see here. Some people have problems with their sound, others don't, and whatever. Uh, now for those of you who are planning to do this, there are some specific steps or not steps, but some specific requirements that you are going to need on your computer. Uh, one, your processor. If you're running an AMD, it is possible. Uh, yes, I know that Macintosh is PowerPC and Intel only, but that's native. They, uh, there are people out there that have actually made cracks and hacks for installing this on an AMD system. I know because I am an AMD. I have an AMD Athlon uh, 64FX, or no, sorry, it's an X2. Uh, 3800 dual core processor and I can successfully load the installer off the disk and like I said once I get this reinstalled and on the correct partition I'll be able to actually boot I would assume anyways you're gonna need at least an SSC2 compatible processor to find out if your processor AMD or Intel is compatible you download a program called CPUZ you can get that from CPUID.com and then in the processor information it'll tell you if it supports SSE 1, 2, 3, etc, etc. You want at least, at least SSE 2. Uh, it's not going to give you all of your available options on 2, but it'll still allow you to boot. Now SSE 3 gives you all the fun extra shit, like basically iTunes and other things like that from what I can tell. I haven't personally booted into this yet, so I don't know what the difference is because my desktop, the that my processor does have SSE3, whereas my laptop only has SSE2, and it's an Intel processor, so I'm going to have to obviously install that differently, uh, but I'm going to, once I get it figured out on the desktop here, I am going to install it on my laptop and see what I can do with it, see what the differences between SSE2 and 3 are. Uh, here we go. It is actually loading here, as you can see. This is Mac OS X. Uh, now, 
Uh, so yeah, you need the processor. You need to make sure you get the correct installation for the correct processor type you have. I would recommend using an IDE hard drive, not a SATA hard drive. Uh, the installation can see my SATA hard drive, but I would just recommend using IDE. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to figure out working the partition here. Let's see. This does run a little slow because it is off CD and running off my RAM, so it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world. Depending on your system, you're obviously going to have to do some playing around on your own. Because each system is different, different hardware, different configuration, everything. I will post more information, well I guess I should say I'll record more information on this later, and I'll post it all in one video. Or possibly two if I have to split it up, depending on how long it is, but anyways, uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, well, hello everybody. I have finally got it working. This is officially Mac OS X after the install. Booted off the hard drive, no disk, which I read you have to do, but now it is booting via the Darwin loader off of my hard drive, my secondary hard drive. Once again, this is not a Mac. This is very PC. This is part of the Hackintosh OS X86 project. Now, before you begin, it may or may not come up with this. Mine sure as hell did, I don't know why. So, you just have to press some random keys on the keyboard. There we go. It'll pop up with this dialog here. Just click OK. Select the ANSI. United States, obviously, if you're in the States. English. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a, I don't already own, so do not transfer information, continue. Local network, Ethernet, since that's how I connect. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, so I don't need to worry about any of that right now, I'll do it later. I haven't got an Apple ID. Continue, oh. It's gonna make you enter this information. There we go. Okay, home. Hmm. Yeah, let's see photography. Well, video and film. Continue. Awesome. This is very exciting to me here. Which is pretty sad. What the hell? No, not either, right? There we go. Uh, yeah, that looks... What? Time's way off. Uh, current time is more like... 12... 47 a.m. Save. Continue. Okay. Done. And I don't know if my sound is working because I have my sound plugged into my laptop right now. And oh my hell, it's working. Ah! It is in safe boot, this is true. I did have to boot it in safe mode, but I'll work on that later. This does work. Okay, so yes, this is officially Mac OS X running on my computer. It is possible, everybody. You are seeing it proof right here.